waffle maker, and tonight it comes along with a spatula and a pair or set of tongs. This is brand new today. If sold separately, you could pay up to $84 for this. What is the price tonight? We've got it at $49.96. We also have it on Easy Pay, and we have Marie Louise Ludwig to come in here because Marie Louise, I want you to first of all, hello, my darling. Hello. Mwah. Lovely to see you. Great Take to a see look you. at the graphic on the left hand side of your screen because you're going to see it flip around, I believe. Yes. Yes. So if you were to go out to uh, retail to buy the waffle maker, the silicone spatula, and the t uh, silicone tip tongs, $84. We've got all that tonight for $49.96 and three equal payments mm -hmm. on the credit card. Waring's been in the waffle business for a long time. For a very long time. You know what? It smells so good in here. Waffles have always been a family favorite mm. and a favorite when you go out to have brunch. But now waffles, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. And you can get the same delicious thick, one inch thick Belgian waffles in minutes using this machine. And I've made one for you. You know, I love my waffles <laughs> a little cake like. Cake like. I don't like mine too crispy. I like Not mine to crispy. be just a little softer. And mm -hmm. the beauty of this is there's a there's a dial. I call it the crispness dial. That's a very um, good thing. You can uh, dial one for incredibly soft waffles all the way up to six for very crispy waffles. I like mine about a three. And they are delightful. The best part of all, you get a little butter up on there. And the, with these deep pockets, they hold lots of syrup, they hold lots of butter, they, they hold do. lots of chocolate sauce, whatever you're putting on top. You can make cheesy waffles. I know, so good. And then enjoy this great, great waffle maker. The best part of all, you've got these little grooves, so there are tailor-made places for your fork to get in there and cut a little by. Yeah, nice deep pockets in there. And this is so easy to use. We love the non-stick mm. capabilities of it. Mm -hmm. Isn't that delicious? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can use any waffle batter. You can use your grandma's waffle oh batter recipe. You can come up with your own waffle batter recipe. Add the things you want to it. I like the basic waffle mix that you buy at the supermarket. Okay. Mix it up. I like to give the machine a little spray right here. It comes with a cup. And why this cup is helpful, David, is because it allows you to measure that perfect amount going into the waffle maker. So you just load your cup up from your waffle batter, put it in the machine just like this. You're going to close it up. You've already chosen whatever setting you want on there. I like to let it sit for about five seconds. And then this is how we spread that waffle batter around. It flips over just like they do where you go to those fancy schmancy places where you have brunch. And when it's ready, the ready light goes on. You flip it back over and you have got a hot and crispy waffle in minutes. Now remember, you can't go wrong with this because the waffle iron is going to cook it to perfection. Mm -hmm. You decide on the dial how soft or crispy you want the waffle. Chocolate waffles, yes please. Yes, here we go. These chocolate are amazing. A little chocolate sauce, some fresh mm. whipped topping, maybe some sprinkles, powdered yeah, sugar. Look at that. Delightful. Look at that. I'm gonna tell you what, on those Saturday mornings when the kids get up and you're like, what do you want this morning? Do you want cereal cereal or do you want waffles? The kids are always like, waffles, we want waffles. <laughs> and they're easy enough for the kids to do. It's a great thing for the family to get together, but there's nothing like those fresh waffles. So nothing delightful. like it. Well, okay, I'll have a bite. You, you've talked me into it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm. Oh, my. And that's just adding chocolate syrup, or you could use expensive chocolate if you want to, to make the batter chocolate. Mm. Mm. Or put cocoa in the batter. You could. Or some semi sweet cocoa powder. Down here in the front, we've got Elvis waffles. We've actually made bananas and peanut butter waffle together. Take those extra ripe bananas you have, stir them into the batter, add blueberries into the batter. Down here, we've just made cornbread waffles. So we've used nice. cornbread batter. We put cheese in there. We some put jalapeno. some spices in there. And you could put all kinds of salsa on the top of it, chicken and waffles. Now, let me also tell you, this is a brand new waffle iron. Let me show you what, <clears throat> me, what you're getting right quick. We've got one here on the end. I believe this one is cold. Yes, yes, yes. So take a look at this one right here. We'll come down here and we'll show you what you're getting. Now, you're getting the waffle iron itself. It also has this little drip pan underneath. So if you get a little bit overzealous with the waffle batter, no worries. It'll collect down here and this will uh, clean up really easily. We're going to give you your measuring cup so you know exactly how much waffle batter to put inside the waffle maker. We're also giving you the silicone tip tongs and the spatula. So now everything comes together in this great kit. Look at this graphic right here. It's going to flip around. And when it does that, there we go. Look what you pay at retail for the waffle iron, the spatula, and the tongs, if sold separately, $84. We've got it tonight at $49 and change. But wait, I've got three more reasons why you want to consider this, and they're all called easy pay. Three yeah. easy payments of $16.65. How many are going now, Sean? 
500 are spoken for. This is only coming to you in stainless steel, one of our most popular kitchen colors. So now you've got a chance to pick this up and make things like chocolate mm. waffles, mm. dessert waffles. How about a breakfast sandwich? Now you made these with poppin' fresh biscuit yes. dough? You know what, you take the wampum biscuits, you just take the whole biscuit, you roll it out a little bit, and you put it Let's in the Let's explain machine. what a wampum biscuit is. Yeah, that's that's that pack of, pack of biscuits, <laughs> you peel the paper off and you wamp it on the countertop to open it up, wampum biscuits. So you take wampum biscuits and pop these in here, yep. and then it makes kind of an imperfect Waffle base out of biscuit dough, and then right. you add your scrambled eggs, your cheese, and bacon, and you got a breakfast sandwich. Mm -hmm. And the Delicious. same thing up here, you can make like your a, a little sweet and savory. You can make sandwiches out of it. I've made waffles, and I put a chicken patty in the middle. I've made some uh, maple syrup mayonnaise, Ooh, and made a chicken sandwich. You could also sandwich. make like a, uh, um, a, a Monte Cristo. You could. You yes, could. You yes, could yes, put yes. macaroni and cheese in here and make macaroni and cheese. You could what? put tater tots. You can make like a tot. Two important food groups, tot. macaroni and cheese and tater tots. You can make a tot waffle in here. And look at okay, that. Okay, I think you're needing another plate, so I'll give you mine. I think this is on a three. Oh, perfect. Oh, should we just stack them? Yes, please. How about if we put a little bit of butter yes, on please. it? Yes, please. I have to tell you, this is so easy to do. And you can be the hero. Marie Louise, I like your style. I you do know. butter like I do. <laughs> I know. All right, get but, after the butter. Would you like a little waffle with your butter? Look yes, it. please. Belgian waffles, one inch deep pockets on here, just the way you love them, the same way they make them at the restaurants that our family all loves. Check that. And look at that. Deep pools of sauce Nicely of any done. kind in there. Now, you're, the only thing that's missing there is some crispy bacon on the side because it should mm. get all up in the syrup, right? Yeah. So you get a little same. sweet and savory. A little sausage link wouldn't hurt my feelings either in there with that, <laughs> with, that, with that fresh maple syrup. All right, so stay on the line here. One of my favorite things to order when I go out for breakfast is a waffle. Now I don't have to go out, I make them at home. This is like the, the fancy restaurant buffets that do brunch. You got a brunch in your own kitchen now. Thank you, Miss Marie. I'm going to see you back for the freezer and maple cookbook. cookbook. Yep. Speaking of that, let's check in with Stacy, who's got a little preview. Oh, yeah. Well, if you are, are one of those people that think those of us who eat frozen meals are willing to sacrifice taste for convenience, you couldn't be any more wrong. Why?